welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on the SABC3 on this crazy Friday. I've been running around, just got changed into my suit, back into my suit. But as we do on every single Friday, well, for all the youngsters out there, we have a youth sports segment to keep you updated on what's happening in the world of youth sport. Check it out. This week on the Expresso Youth Reports, rugby news, netball, and one last preview of Craven Week, which kicks off on Monday in Port Elizabeth. First up the news and sadly some shocking news. Clagstop outside centre Andre Esterhazen has been banned from all rugby participation for a year for allegedly racially abusing the coach of Potterstrom from Narsium, Tabo Molete. Esterhazen has been withdrawn from the Leopards Craven League side and will have to undergo life skills courses as further rehabilitation for his actions. Last up in the news, earlier this week we announced that, not surprisingly, the promising baby box fly half Andre Pollard chose to further his career in Pretoria and is signed with the Blue Bulls. The plot thickens though as the CEO of Western Province Rugby, Rob Wagner, explained that the union had done everything they could to secure the 18-year-old's signature. According to Rugby365.com, Western Province had been in talks with Andre and his father as early as 2010. The Pollards, it is said, were waiting on Andre to make a decision on studies versus rugby before signing any contracts. It seems though the decision has been made and Andre will follow in the illustrious footsteps of fly-offs such as the great Nas Puerta and more recently current Blue Bulls and Swingbot fly-half Mornay Stain. And now for some netball and the World University's Netball Championships. A very enthused Ugandan side went down 44-39 to Jamaica on Tuesday. Jamaica, who have had a far superior side, were made to work hard for every goal. South Africa demolished their neighbours Zimbabwe 110 to 12 points. South Africans pace the attack doing the damage on the day. Our cameras managed to catch some of the action on Wednesday afternoon when Ireland and Zimbabwe met on day three of the inaugural tournament. The Zimbabweans managed to do better than the day before, but in the end were no match for the Europeans. Zimbabwe struggled to string several passes together, and with the ball up for grabs, Ireland headed straight for the goals. At the end of the four quarters, they had scored 83 points to Zimbabwe's 27 goals. Next up was our national side, which featured Bongiwem Somi and Vanessa Marie de Toy, who were featured in our show earlier this week. Now, there must be something in the espresso we serve to our guests as the ladies and team in general came out like a house on fire against their opponents from the USA, throwing passes around the court at will and pace. The South African team netted basket after basket. Not only was the attack impressive, but defensively they were impenetrable in the first quarter of proceedings. Our espresso Woman of the Match award must go to Bongiwe. The Nuggety Sensor ran up and down the court at near full speed for the entire duration. She served as the catalyst to most of the South African attacks, injecting pace and urgency to an already explosive team. Her movements and deceptive passing allowed for players like Captain Mareka Holzhausen to rack up the necessary points. Credit must also be given to the Americans who have only been playing netball as a team for a few months now. The ladies fought hard in the final half of the game, did manage to score a few points and a few young fans along the way. In the end though, the South Africans were too strong, winning the encounter 93-14. And the only real concern for coach Derek Badenhorst was the injury to her centre, Danika Dutoy. Danika is a very good um, player, she was our backup on the centre position. That's why we changed into the last quarter to try another centre in that combination. Um, so yeah, it's a blow to the team, but I think she will be part of the team and um, they're still confident and will go full out. With the national team's impending test series fast approaching, Captain Holtzhausen was quick to assure that the girls' number one focus is on the job at hand. We're not thinking about the Spore Pratia team at the moment, we're just playing here, but um, every time we play it's just the getting more confident for what is lying ahead. And that's it for Youth Sports Today. One final reminder to check out Craven Week from Monday onwards in Port Elizabeth and the explosive under-16 Grand Como Week currently happening in Johannesburg over the weekend. Of course, the Grand Como Week is a fantastic tournament to catch the first glimpses of our future stars of SA Rugby. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.